Rahim, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. I hope from Allah Almighty that you must be fine enough, inshallah. Today I have come with a very burning topic, which is how to drive a formula for mastery and skill or anything. You know, there are three parts to it. Number one, repetition. Number two, strategy. And number three, which is last but not the least, is the formation of a positive sportive system around yourself. So first of all, let's start with the repetition. Repetition is one of the most important and vital characteristic feature of one's life or one's personality. One should really have to work on it. Actually, it is a key factor. If you are talking about the repetition, it is key factor as far as the derivation of the formula for, you know, mastery anything or any skill. That is a key factor, really. Doesn't matter how much time you are, you know, uh, giving to, to do this or how much energy you are, you know, spending to do this. What really matter is, are you supposed to get everything according to your mind setup? That is important. That is bottom line. First of all, you will have to make your mind in, you will have to develop your mind in such a way that, in such a way that you will have to keep doing one thing again and again. Yes, mark my words, bear that phrase in your mind, what I'm saying, you will have to keep doing one thing, one thing again and again, again and again, unless or until you will get expertise in it. That is the bottom line. Never get bored in doing one thing again and again, unless you are supposed to get every expertise which is concerned with that particular field. And now I'm turning on the second important, you can say, uh, 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 a factor which you, which, you know, really can help us in driving the formula how to mastery in any skill or anything. And that is, you know, strategy. You know, repetition has got to be accompanied. Repetition has got to be accompanied by having a right strategy. And according to my research, according to my calculation, according to my fresh data, uh, these two things, repetition and strategy, you can find these two things in sportsmen. And I'm giving you a best example right now. And uh, you know, you definitely heard about Muhammad Ali. He was the great boxer of all time. No doubt in it. In spite of the fact that he got, you know, he got a massive talent, he had a coach throughout his professional career. You know that? He had a coach throughout his professional career. What is an importance? What is an importance of a coach in a sportsman life? Actually, coach is used to give strategic suggestions he is used to give strategic shifts he is used to you know build a mind in a new style he used to you know give you different ways to attack on your particular field on your particular area of concern that is a work of you know that is the working of a coach coach doesn't mean that he is he's better uh, sportsman as compared to his player but he definitely needs to know how to make his player better. That is the benefit of coach. So every sportsman have a coach and he is in need to get strategic shifts. He actually every sportsman should have to get strategic shifts. If he is not working for that, which is definitely coming from a, you know, a particular or professional coach, then he cannot be a technical player. He can be a good player, but as far as the techniques of a particular sports are concerned, he will be totally failed to do this or he will be totally failed. He will be unable to do that. So last but not least, last factor which can really help us to drive, um, you know, um, uh, how to, how to, you know, uh, create a formula for mastery anything or any skill is the formation of positive sportive system around yourself you know what 
we are used to hear a lot what you cannot do that you cannot do that you are not supposed to do that it's it's very challenging you are not having you know sufficient courage you are ha not having sufficient potential to do this these are actually sharp metallic negative sounds these are actually sharp metallic negative sounds you know which can just you know paralyze our mind which can you know crack our mind we'll have to you know keep ourselves away from it whenever the people will start to you know uh, uh, underestimate you or demotivate you then you will have to create you will have to create a positive supportive mechanism but different ways you can you know create that do have you will have to you know collect those people which are you know giving which are supposed to give you positive energy you you are always in try to find those kind of people which are used to give you positive energy positive energy is you know fuel it is a tonic to play well in the life as far as professional life is concerned it is also helpful in that particular area so first of all the last the last factor in which you will have to work on is the formation of a positive formation of a positive sportive mechanism which can you know create your energy more and more which can you know you know you know make you feel that you are flying in the air you are the best avoid those people who are used to give negative criticism negative energy they radiate negative energy you will have to avoid those people so these are the three rules which i have mentioned number one i'm repeating for you guys number one repetition number two strategy and number three the formation of positive supportive mechanism and that's all